What is up guys, it is Turbo here and welcome, this is the FIFA 13 Season 2 career mode and we are currently in our first two matches for the Portuguese national team, this is episode 32 guys. And as you can see there are two friendlies, we play Finland at home and Greece at home, it doesn't really matter if we're at home or not, but uh, I can't wait to use this Portugal team, just the amount of players, uh, decent players, great players in it, it's going to be amazing. So there's the starting lineup. Roy Patricio alongside Joe Saber Singua is the other starting content is the other starting uh, surprise really. And uh, Nani and Ronaldo both get a start up front as the two wing spots. And Ronaldo picks out Nani in the first two minutes of the game for the first chance. And you can tell that we were going to dominate here. The Portuguese guys, you know, they were just like, <clears throat> "All right, boys, let's do this." Right, as a team, we just got to impress for the new manager. We got to impress the media, and Nani did exactly that there. A nice little fake shot at the edge of the box. And he turns around and smashes it into the far post corner. And I had a word in his ear. I'm like, you know what, Nanny? I'm going to give you a start, all right? I was going to start Quaresma, but I don't like the way he plays. I don't like him as a person. So I'm going to give you a start alongside CR7. Hope you can do something. And he repaid me. He gave me a goal, which uh, which is nice. I don't always like Nanny, but uh, he does score some nice goals. Rui Patricia there, good stop. But then look at this, Ronnie. CR7 is through. And somehow he misses, and Nanny misses the header as well. But it does not matter. You can see the Portugal. Portugal. You can see that the Portuguese are just dominating with their new manager. They all want to impress, and they are all doing that. Danny in the midfield, stringing up the passes with Nani and Ronaldo. And look at this highlight. This highlight goes on for literally, literally like five in-game minutes. Nani hitting the post there. Ball out back to Ronaldo, who uh, smacked it straight at the keeper. And then ball to Danny, who smacked it into the defenders. And we've still got possession. All of this, right? All of this. Look at this. The Portugal players are just trying to impress me, right? All of them want to grab themselves a goal. All of them want to be a team player and set the other person up. Uh, and unfortunately, Ronaldo gets tackled there. That looked like a little bit of a penalty, but it does not matter. Because I'm serious. Finland didn't have any chances. <clears throat> it was literally all us. And I made some substitutions just to, you know... Make sure that we had fitness for the next game. Nelson Oliveira being one of the ones that came on for Vazte. I do like Vazte. I like playing uh, when I'm playing the 4 3 3, which is the formation that I can't believe Nelson Oliveira missed there. Or which is the formation I play here, or 4 3 2 1 or something with wingers. Um, I like to have a, a pretty strong, pacey striker like the likes of um, Marvin Sordell. Um, he's a good player to have in that 4 3 3 formation, as well as Lukaku. Lukaku is another beast player to have in the 4 3 3 formation. But, uh, you know, Danny with the header there on target, but unfortunately it was never going to go in. And in the dying moments of the game, CR7 does what he does best. This is why he was, he's one of the best players in the world. He just turns on the, spa on the space, on the speed, and and uh, gallops into the space, and then smacks it into the top corner. And he is also impressed. I had a word for the match with him as well. Um, only, this, only those two players. Also, I had a word with Jose Basingua. I was like, you know what, Ronaldo? You're the captain here, right? You do what you do best. I'm going to give you the free roll. You can do what you want because you cannot not impress me. And I also said to Basingwa, I'm like, hey, bossy, you know what? You play for Chelsea, so I'm going to give you a starting lineup. I like Chelsea. I like the way you play. So, uh, yeah, Marvin Tudor is back from injury, which is nice. And the media are on to me saying that I have experienced rare debut success. I don't know why it's rare. I've won pretty much every game so far with Southampton. Only lost two. And I really, really, really cannot believe that it's, uh, they're saying it's rare. But Sordo is making his presence known. The media says it's difficult for him to adjust. But uh, he, they've, everyone can see that my choice was good. And we move into the next game against Greece. And here I'm I'm starting Salvador Agra and Serraro Garces. I'm not obviously going to pronounce them right. But basically those were the two. Oh, pardon me. Those were the two players who uh, who had no faces, no, no face players, so they're obviously being scouted. They both have over 90 stamina, fitness, acceleration, and uh, the other one, um, sprint speed. So I had a word in both of their ears. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to play uh, Vaste or Nani today because Nani, you know, despite that, he, the, despite the fact that he scored a goal in the last game, and I did say he impressed me, he didn't really because you know what? He was a little bit greedy and too greedy for me. So, uh, so I didn't like that, and I, I subbed him off. You know, it is a friendly, so I can try out all the best players. And, of course, you know, Vaste, he had a very, very good game, I thought, last game. But, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to switch things around, seeing if I can play the three wingers despite having the uh, the striker position. And look at this. He does not repay me, really. He, get, he gets the chance there. Uh, I've put him into the Portuguese lineup. He's representing his national side, and he does not score the simplest of chances. Ronaldo snacking is straight at the keeper. And Greece can claim it and carry on on the counter-attack. But really, you know, this game was a little bit more even. Greece did have a little bit more chances than uh, Finland. But, you know, we were still going to win. And what a header from Danny. He, again, is repaying me his faith. Um, repaying his faith in me. No, something like that. 
basically I played him over Real Morales and uh, he uh, he scored a goal for me so I don't mind that when people do that and Quaresma was brought on there late on to, uh, to just try and get something from the game um, some more because it was before before they scored but the final score was 1-0 so thanks for watching this episode guys I hope you enjoyed it it was the first international episode and it won't be the last either so uh, like I said thanks for watching and apart from that guys I will see you guys next time bye